Hello everyone, my name is Tidhar Meltzer. I'm a solution engineer at Whitesource, and this is a demonstration of Whitesource Advice for IDE, an IDE extension that runs automatic vulnerability checks in the background, providing developers with immediate feedback on open source vulnerabilities in their project. Whitesource Advice for IDE is available for Visual Studio, IntelliJ, and Eclipse. Today I'm going to demonstrate advice for Visual Studio using a, an open source.NET project. So first I'm going to install the extension on Visual Studio. Uh, Advise is, is installed just like any other extension in Visual Studio uh, via the Manage Extensions menu. Just uh, search the marketplace for white source. Click download and restart Visual Studio. In the meantime, I'm going to uh, log into my uh, white source organization and I'm going to go to the integrate page. Scroll down to white source for developers. Now note that uh, white source for developers, which includes advice for IDE, is a supplemental feature. So if you see this, just reach out to us and uh, we'll be happy to give you a test drive. So I'm going to expand advice for IDE and I'm going to copy the license key from here, I'm gonna use it in a little bit. Just gonna wait for the uh, installation to complete. Great, I'll start Visual Studio again. And then I'm going to go to the uh, extensions menu. Now I have a white source menu item here. I'm going to click activate white source advice. And in the activation menu, I'm going to plug in my white source username and the activation key that I just copied and click activate. And we're ready to go. Now, uh, all I need to do in order to use white source advice on the first use, I'll need to, um, once I open the project, I actually need to go to the extension menu to white source and select to either scan the solution or the project. I can also do it from the uh, solution explorer by right clicking the project or solution and click to scan with white source advice. Advise parses the um, both the packages config file or the CS proj file if you're using package references. And once the scan is complete, it will show you the uh, the list of uh, of uh, vulnerabilities that are associated with the uh, with the open source components with the NuGet package in your project. And for each of them, I have the information about the component and where it's located. I can also uh, click this link to see the actual uh, CV record. And of course, the, uh, other than the description of the, of the CV, I have the suggested fixes. So for example, uh, jQuery here, which I'm using version 1.10.2, uh, the most suggested fixes is to upgrade to version uh, 3.5.0. So let's, let's do that. I'm gonna save the file, uh, run the scan again. And once the scan complete, I'm not vulnerable anymore in that particular package, of course. Thank you for watching this presentation. And if you have further questions, please reach out to your white source representative, or you can visit our website for more information.